Hi, this is Kimberly. Just a quick little intro for this video regarding Suzanne Morphew. I've not followed this case, but for some reason it just jumped out at me this morning because I saw a story about Suzanne. Her brother is desperate to find her before the snow really starts going in Colorado. I know they already have some, but seems like a really nice guy. I feel bad for him. His name is Andy Mormon. And yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this case. I do know that she went missing on Mother's Day and her husband's being a dick and not helping. So yeah, he did it. You know, it's not even a probably. He did it. Dumb fuck face. He must be related to Chris Watts. But if you're not following this case, I am working on the next Chris Watts video where I read the comments. Also, piece of shit grouch and all of her goddamn shenanigans. I cannot keep up with that bitch. One more, the Chris McNabb and Courtney Bell. That case just fascinates me and I really would like to see a retrial, not just for the entertainment value, but I'm just not confident that case was investigated properly. Anyway, I'm working on those three things and I love you guys. Much love and peace. Thank you for listening. Our goal today is to dispatch approximately teams of 50. And probably one of the first things I'm going to ask for is people that are familiar with this area. I'm going to name off a few areas that I'm interested in right off the bat. Dead Horse Gulch. Anybody that has hiked or is familiar with that area from Colorado here, please get with me. We've got Monarch Mountain Pass. Anybody who's been up there. There's a graveyard up in there. I want to search above and around. Also want to search any trails in that area. So anyone who's with search and rescue that's familiar with that sort of thing, I want to talk to you. We're going to go out by the Morphew home. Now realize there's going to be a lot of vehicles going out there, so we're going to have to find places to park or pool together in order to have room for everybody to park. When we go up on Monarch Mountain, there is a little business there at the pull-off, and we cannot use their parking lot and block their business, okay? If you are a smoker, this is a hazardous fire area. You've got to extinguish your cigarettes properly and do not throw them on the ground. Reason being is we don't want to foul an area that maybe there's some evidence found in. So be smart about that. Let's say you find something. Now realize there's a lot of debris on the trails. There's bottles of water and maybe a can or two. That's not necessarily evidence. We're looking for torn clothing, human remains, and things of that nature. If you see something, snap a picture of it. Step back. Call me. Everybody get your phones out. I'm going to reach out with you with my phone number. Put this in as a contact. Andy's good enough. You don't have to go to the last name. Phone number is 765-425-8630. If any evidence is found, I want you to stay with it. I want you to send one of your team members in the cell phone range where they can reach out. We're going to get Chaffee County and the police department immediately involved. Okay. Once they get there and they take your statement, get your name, step back and let them take over. I want to warn you about something. If you snap pictures of evidence on the ground, they may confiscate your cell phone and I don't know when you'll see it again. You can snap pictures of it. You can share it with them. They won't take your phone. What I will tell you is do not share it with the media. We cannot foul up a prosecution like that, okay? It's so important that you do not share what you found with the media. Remember, this is a, this is a murder investigation, and we gotta be smart, or we're gonna have big problems when it comes time to find the uh, guilty person and hold them uh, accountable. So please be respectful of that. Wear your masks if you're in vehicles together, try to protect each other and the ones around you. Once you're out searching, 
you're going to be arm lengths apart. You're going to be marching through. You're going to download something on your phone called ARC GIS. That's A R C G I S. What does that do? It marks your location. And at the end of the day, when you're back in cell phone range, we can download that. And it will show a grid of areas already searched so we don't step over our grounds again. On that app, there's also an area where you found something, and that's what you take the picture with. You go to that, and you take the picture. Uh, Naomi, have you figured all that out completely? Not exactly. I'm still trying to get the rest of it, but Mike wanted us to make sure and tell everybody to turn their tracker on. Okay. But I need to know who all has successfully downloaded and got the usernames correct for both apps. Usernames correct for both apps. So anybody who has not, can, can we like separate into separate piles? Like whoever has it and whoever doesn't have it, that way I can figure that out. Yeah. Like maybe so not right the, now, but eventually when when Andy's done talking. So. Okay. So um, my next move would be to ask the experienced people in the areas I asked about to step forward. I'm looking for strong, healthy individuals that can go high, and organize and take a team of 50 with them. Anybody that wants to do that, please step up. Again, just kind of talk to us a little bit about the, the plans for today. We'll first start off with that. Okay, here in just a few moments, I'm going to uh, divide and conquer. We're going to get teams of 50 together with uh, strong leaders. Um, we're going to sign people up. We're going to dispatch different areas, and we're going to start searching. Well, tell me a little bit about the motivation behind this search. Obviously, you know, there's investigators on this, but you took it upon yourself to come out here and assemble this team. Yeah, um, you know, the Chaffee County and the FBI and everybody has just run out of resources and time to invest in ground searches right now. And I think they've gathered a lot of information, but they did not turn anything up so far. So what I tried to do is put together the largest search team Chaffee County's ever seen, and we're going to get out, and we're going to search, and I hope that we can find something. When is the last time you spoke with Suzanne? Tell me about that. On her birthday, April 30th. I sent her a really nice video. I'm telling her how much I loved her and missed her. And uh, happy birthday. And she responded back to me a couple days later and said, Thank you, girl. I love you and I miss you. Uh, tell us a little bit about who Suzanne was. And I know you've said this a million times, but I, you can't probably say it enough. Well, I mean, if you could have met her, you'd absolutely love her. You wanted to be best friends with her. She's just a very humble and nice young lady. Everybody that met her really loved her. I don't think she had an enemy in the world. What do you expect? Oh, sorry, go ahead, Just, I was just going to say, this is this is the day that you've been working for for yeah. a long time. Just talk about what's going through your mind and your heart right now. Well, what's going through my mind and my heart right now is I need to get busy and not disappoint a lot of people that showed up here to help. Um, i got to get this organized very quickly and dispatched and going. What are you expecting out of today? You'll be here for a few days. What are you, what are you hoping to, to find that investigators put it? Um, any evidence, any traces of the remains of the human body. And, uh, you know, immediately we'll call in the authorities and they'll lock the scene down. And hopefully we can find some evidence of what happened to her and get some closure for my family. For a long time, you guys have been hoping to find her alive. Yeah. And at did. some point... We did that for weeks. I, I hope to find her alive. And, and at some point, you have to realize when somebody's missing after so long, that the uh, chances of that diminish dramatically. And, you know, there's always a chance, but I think it's very slim at this point. Have you spoken with Barry at all? He's not out here, obviously, today. No, and he should be standing here where I'm at instead of me. But... I have not. He's been invited to be in this search and on it, and uh, I haven't heard from him. You've reached out to him, though, to ask him to be here? Chris and Mike are profiling you will get, yes. Yeah, no response? No response. All right. Um, any other questions? No. Guys? Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you. We'll thank talk you to you throughout the search. Yeah, okay, appreciate you. it. Today, again, we're going to meet at Poncho Springs Visitor Center, and um, we're going to gather, divide teams, and we're going to dispatch from that point, and... Uh, uh, got, we really got a lot of ground covered yesterday. We expect to cover a lot more today. Um, a lot of tips are coming in. Um, it's really livened this investigation up, and CBI are on our side, so that helps a lot. And uh, we had to process some evidence yesterday that we found up on a mountain. So 
um, it's coming along. Can you and tell I, us about any of that evidence? Um, I'd hate to speak too much about it. Um, I can just tell you it was close to the Morphew residence, and um, we're not sure of the uh, importance of it, but we did share a PBI on it, and they are processing that scene as we speak. Andrew, what do you think happened to your sister? You've been very vocal about this. You want to keep it in the spotlight. I know you want to be able to bring her home, but what do you think happened? Oh, I think that she was uh, abducted. I don't think she ever got on her bike. Um, I think she probably died Saturday, and she was hidden somewhere Saturday night. And we're, we're pushing forward, and that's the theories that we have right now that uh, seem to be correct. How many people do you have there, and how many of them are from your home state? Um, i got about 25 here from Indiana, and more showing up today via um, Denver Airport, of course, and they're going to shuttle over and join the search. Um, then there's another, I would say yesterday we had around 420 wow. actual searchers and about 40 people that volunteered to support those searchers all day. Andrew, we first of all want to, of course, pass along our thoughts to you. I know how tough this must be as a brother. I do want to ask you finally before we let you go, um, and maybe it's too personal, please say if it is, uh, is there tension between uh, you and uh, her husband, and is he cooperating with this search? Is he on site with you today? What is the status of, of, of that? Um, yesterday we ran into him as we um, crossed that mountaintop where we found the evidence, and he was out hanging trail cams and uh, had a shotgun on his shoulder and warned us not to go any further because we were about to enter private property. And to answer your question, no, he's not involved in the search, and he has been invited to the search personally by profiling you, well, Chris and Mike, and uh, they've been a huge help to me. Uh, but no, Barry's, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's not cooperating enough with the police. He should have done a voice analysis of lie detector right off the bat. And some of his behavior since then have been quite strange. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday around almost nine o'clock right now. We're in Chafee County, just leaving this area where we met to, um, with all the volunteers that are out here looking for Suzanne Morphew this morning. We're now following Andy's car to the one of the search areas. I know one of the parts was Monarch um, Pass and the other one was Dead Horse Gulch. So we're just kind of heading that way. Oh, you can't flip it on this. Let me just flip the camera this way. But you can see all these people out here. They're heading out there. There goes Andy right there. That's Suzanne's brother. But you can see all these people. Um, ATVs, we've got boats. I would say well over, would you say well over 100? Yeah. Yeah, well over 100 volunteers out here. So we're going to be out here for a while. I will be tweeting updates as we have service available.